Hey everyone, I'm excited today to share with you and discuss the relatively new Fuji XF 18-120 F4 PZ WR weather resistant zoom lens. This lens is on loan to me from Fuji. It's a one of a kind lens, but it's important you know I only am talking about this in terms of photography. So while I might talk about specs from Fuji, the samples and perspectives of my use, my experience so far, are gonna be based on photography. So this lens stands out because of its impressive zoom range and its constant aperture of F4. It's perfect for video work. You won't have uh, flickering lights or level changes when zooming in and out because of how the lens uh, is designed. And there's a power zoom function which controls the zoom internally. So that can help you when you're balancing on an electronic gimbal the lens isn't gonna shift and change that weight balance. There's three ways to control the power zoom, which is a small button on the side, a zoom and a focus rocker, and a more conventional uh, zoom ring. And so you're gonna have greater control over video footage and the spring-loaded focus wing ensures smooth transition. So although this lens does not have image stabilization, it's a great option for video makers using the Fuji uh, bodies, camera bodies, especially the latest ones with built-in image stabilization. Uh, the lens is made of plastic, and that's not normally something we brag about, but it is so lightweight that it's a feature. It's also uh, weather sealed well with a decent side gasket on the rear mount. So um, as a matter of fact, one of the chief qualities this lens brings to bear is lightness. So um, look at, I'm holding it uh, with two fingers and I can hold the camera level and steady. Uh, so that lightweight combined with the zoom range is makes it one of a kind. So what about image quality? That's the big deal. When it comes to image quality, the lens delivers a sharpness, excellent sharpness and contrast right in the middle of the image. The corners, uh, you're gonna get a little bit softer at wide angles, um, but it performs quite well, stop down to f5.6 or f8. Uh, at 120 millimeter, the middle of the image is excellent and the corner quality is gonna be soft. Uh, so overall, this is an interesting lens that handles both photography and video work. Uh, the autofocus motor is quick, confident, solid, and accurate, making it easy to capture great shots. The hood comes with, a, uh, lens comes with a plastic hood, 72 millimeter front mount, and it's $900. So makes it a great option for photographers and videographers alike and make sure you update your firmware so that you can have uh, Fuji's latest software enhancements for these zoom controls. So without further ado, let's see some examples of photography with this lens compa uh, paired with the X-T5, also on loan from uh, Fuji. A shots I took at one of the most famous beaches in the world, that's Venice Beach. Now, these were shot with nostalgic neg film simulation. They're shown here straight out of the camera and I'm gonna tell you at the end of the zoom range, these images were astounding. They, you know, you don't get the same kind of rendering of the background uh, in an F2.8 lens, but at F4, completely maxed out at 120, which would be about a 180 millimeter equivalent on a full frame camera, uh, I was mesmerized, I would say, by these images because it's so light. Um, I, I would recommend you check it out the only downside, and I will say there is a con, is I felt the way I had set up the zoom is I was experiencing a very slow zoom. And I know there's more than one way to zoom on this lens and I was just doing it kind of the slow way. So at the Venice skate rink, for example, the skate park at Venice Beach, I was either having to prepare zoomed in or zoomed out, but I couldn't zoom quickly enough the way I was doing it with the zoom ring to capture skaters coming toward me in a wider field of view. That's my only caveat and that's my um, mistake. Uh, I should have prepped and figured out the other ways to, to control the zoom. And I think you can even change how the zoom ring responds uh, because it's set up to be a very smooth zoom for video work. And so with photography, you wanna change uh, the dynamics of that zoom ring so that it's easier able to capture action shots. If no one has told you today that you're a beautiful person and a good person, let me be the first one to tell you that. Thanks for joining. Uh, give, me a, give me a comment. Let me know what you think about this uh, 18 to 120 millimeter lens. Thanks for stopping by. Leave me a comment. I'll have this a while uh, so I can still test it. I'm going to be doing a video on its, uh, its video functionality. So 
as well as a video on the XT5. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you're here for Fuji content. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.